Hi there, Michael here, and I'm going to show you how to run MySQL Server, the database, and MariaDB, the, the, the other database, uh, on the same uh, window host at the same time, and so you can start and stop it, the other just to try them out. They are usually they are usually using the same port number, 3306, so I'm going to stick with that. I will not configure them in uh, any way. I will just use the Windows services. So I'm going to start that up, and I have already installed uh, the databases here. So I'm going to just check out my SQL service there. It is manual, so you need to set it uh, to be trigger as manual because then you can sort of decide yourself if you want to start it or stop it. So it's stopped for now and let's see MariaDB also manual and there we go and I can start it. So let's start with uh, MariaDB, MySQL, yeah let's close them down. So let's start just to see how this works. So I'm going to start the MariaDB first. And I'm going to go here and I can open up the client. Oops. So let's see. You root. No. Minus P pass. Hey, that worked. So C. Select version. To see what kind of database version I'm in. Okay, seems to be MariaDB. Nice. So let's quit there and clear the screen and let's do it once more. So I'm gonna stop the MariaDB service there. So and then I'm gonna go down to my SQL service and I'm gonna start it instead. And I'm gonna do the same. So now I can. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to use the MySQL client this time, so let's see if that works. So it seems like I'm going to need to log in with the user root and the password pass. Yay, it worked! So select version to actually see what kind of server version I'm in. So I'm in currently the latest MySQL version, and you also see this app here when the program starts what kind of uh, database server you are connected to. So fine, clear screen. That was all and just remember when you install the first database uh, if the uh, installation program lets you put it in manual do so otherwise you need to go into the services here and uh, put it in manual first and stop it and then you can install the other database uh, server and do the same and now you have full control of it. Okay, good work, thank you, see you later, bye bye.